This video will show you how to install a window regulator and motor on your 2005-2013 Nissan Frontier or Xterra. Go ahead and please hit like and subscribe or go ahead and put a comment below if you'd like to ask me a question about how this installation goes. First piece that we're going to go ahead and remove is this plastic piece right here. So I'm going to use a little flathead screwdriver to go ahead and gain a little bit of access to it and just pop it off here. Real easy. Alright, got that piece off. And the next piece is, is this back cap right here. And that should that should come out too, just with a little bit of force here. There you go. And now, with that taken off, you can see that we have this bolt exposed right here. We're going to be loosening that with a 10 millimeter wrench. But next, what we need to do is go ahead and remove this uh, door rest or arm rest right here. And for that, let's push up. I'm going to go ahead and remove these three bolts right here uh, with the 10 millimeter ratchet. ratchet. Here we go. And you got to be careful not to drop these nuts into the door. So once you start getting them loose, just take your time. One. All right, it's pretty simple here. Just to remove these bolts right here with the 10 millimeter socket wrench. Uh, pretty easy to take off. Just make sure you line them up uh, so that way you know uh, when you're reassembling everything which ones go on first and last. Uh, for the door plastic, just make sure you're pushing up and pulling out. And it's pretty simple. Just uh, use a little bit of force and don't be shy. And it should be okay. Back here. Let's show you that. So there's a wiring harness right here. And it links in to the um, to the window regulator switches. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and undo that and be able to pull this thing off. Okay, now uh, with this piece here, we have uh, just three bolts right here that we can use the 10 millimeter to just go ahead and remove these as well. Once we have this removed, then we can take off this um, foam cover here. Now the foam cover has a gasket, and it's to seal it, both seal out moisture um, coming in here uh, to harm the components in here, and then also uh, to deaden the sound. So you're going to want to keep this thing intact and not ripped it up. So to kind of go after this easily, uh, there's kind of just a, a little bit of just gotta go gentle. This process is pretty simple here. Uh, just make sure that you take care with the foam and uh, you go nice and slow. And if you have any issues with the foam sticking on there uh, with the kind of gasket, the sticky gasket there, just use a uh, razor blade and go ahead and just cut it a little bit at a time. It's kind of like skinning the hide off of a deer. But, anyways, um, this is uh, pretty easy and good luck. We have completely exposed uh, door panel here, and you can see that the uh, regulator is inside of here, and basically the tracks the window right up and down on. So next we're going to get to taking the old one out, put the new one in. Okay, I had to temporarily install this back in, so that way I could lower the door window. So basically I was able to lower it down to expose these two bolts right here. So that will allow me to take out um, the old regulator. So basically just as you can see, it doesn't work very well, but you can see that from this location I can access both of those bolts. 
Okay, I went ahead and taped up the window in place because as soon as I remove those screws for these bolts down here in the bottom, uh, there will be nothing securing this window in. It can just slide and fall down. So I want to make sure it's taped up here. I'll be able to remove those bolts and then I'll be able to lift the window completely into the upright position and then I'll tape it there once again. So from this spot right here, I can actually remove those two bolts and it's not going to fall down. This isn't the easiest thing to do, but just make sure you use some uh, masking tape or uh, painter's tape or duct tape just to kind of help you out uh, if you don't have someone uh, there to assist you. This is pretty difficult otherwise. <laughs> this is where you definitely want to have a, a helping hand because this is not easy to get the two be doing these movements at the same time, but hey, it's, I'm sure people have done it out there. One, one person. There we go. Oh boy, talk about a pain in the ass. This wasn't easy, uh, but it is doable, and you just want to make sure that window is seated fully in the upright position uh, before you start to tape it up, and so that way uh, you won't have any issues later on. Uh, but it is easiest to do with a friend. Alright, so it's up. Alright, so now you can see that it's got the window up and it is completely removed from these two bolt positions right here. Next step, we got to remove four bolts which hold the actual regulator onto the door frame here. So, what we're going to do is unscrew those, once again, 10 millimeter. And once we get done with that, then we remove these three bolts right here which hold the motor in place and once we remove those we'll undo the wiring harness right here and this should be able to come up and out. Alright so it's uh, pretty simple to uh, just remove all this stuff. It's a 10 millimeter socket wrench once again and uh, basic uh, you know make sure you put the bolts uh, segregated in between the bolts for the regulator and the bolts for the actual motor. Uh, so go ahead and uh, yeah, remove those and it's easy, you can just kind of slip it out. Uh, but uh, I put, went ahead and put a link to the in the description of this video to where I purchased the actual uh, motor and regulator combo. Uh, so you can go there and purchase them and they've gotten pretty good reviews for the aftermarket one and it's very similar to the OEM. Alright, now with the three bolts actually removed and we remove the wiring harness, as you can see it's just kind of holding in there, just this piece right here. So as soon as I pull that up and out, then the actual whole window regulator and everything and the motor are free to be removed. should be good to go. Alright, now that we have the new regulator, what we're going to be doing is slipping it inside of there and we're going to be reattaching the motor into these uh, uh, this position here and reattaching the three bolts and then also attaching the wiring harness onto the new one that will extend up through here. Um, also the window regulator will have to be attached at these four points um, as well.
this is an easy process. You just got to make sure that uh, you take your time here when you're tightening up the correct bolts in the correct spots. Uh, you're going to be uh, making sure everything's, uh, all the bolts are down snug uh, before you actually start cranking them down with uh, some torque. So uh, go ahead and take your time with it and uh, it should be pretty easy to put back on. It's the exact same process, just in reverse from taking it off. So now let's go ahead and give it a quick functions check here. Put it in there. All right, works perfectly. So now I'm gonna go ahead and get it in position to where I can access um, it from this position right here and then that way I can lower the window down and tighten it back on there Just to make sure the foam cover for my uh, uh, Driver's door is going to be nice and secure on there. I'm going to go ahead and use a little bit of um, Gasket sealer. Uh, I'm just going to apply a little bit along the edges here and the, before I attach it back on All right, so that wraps everything up here. We have the final product you can see, rolls up and down, no problem. Even does the automatic, so we're good to go. So if you like this, please go ahead and hit like and uh, subscribe if you want to see more of this.